Hey buddies, I know that there is a lot of scary stuff on the news right now and going on in our state. And so I wanted to take just a little bit of time to read a book called I Am Jazz. This is a book that I think will help us understand a few things. This book says, I am jazz. For as long as I can remember, my favorite color has been pink. My second favorite color is silver. And my third favorite color is green. Here are some of the other my other favorite things. Dancing, singing, backflips, drawing, soccer, swimming, makeup, and pretending I'm a pop star. Most of all, I love mermaids. Sometimes I even wear a mermaid tail in the pool. My best friends are Samantha and Casey. We always have fun together. We wear high heels and princess gowns and cartwheels and trampolines. But I'm not exactly like Samantha and Casey. I have a girl brain, but a boy body. It's called transgender. I was born this way. When I was very little and my mom would say, you're such a good boy. I would say, no, mama, good girl. At first, my family was confused. They always thought of me as a boy. As I got a little older, I hardly ever played with trucks or tools or superheroes, only princesses and mermaid costumes. My brothers told me this was girl stuff. I kept playing. My sister said I was always talking to her about my girl thoughts and my girl dreams and how one day I would be a beautiful lady. She would giggle and say, you're funny, kid. Sometimes my parents would let me wear my sister's dresses around the house, but whenever we went out, I had to put on my boy clothes again. This made me mad. Still, I never gave up trying to convince them. Pretending I was a boy felt like I was telling a lie. Then, one amazing day, everything changed. Mom and Dad took me to meet a new doctor who asked me lots and lots of questions. Afterward, the doctor spoke to my parents, and I heard the word transgender for the very first time. That night at bedtime, my parents both hugged me and said, We understand now. Be who you are. We love you no matter what. This made me smile and smile and smile. Mom and Dad told me I could start wearing girl clothes to school and growing my hair long, and they even let me change my name to Jazz. Being Jazz felt so much more like me. Mom said that being Jazz would make me different from the other kids at school, but that being different is okay. And what is important, she said, is that I'm happy with who I am. Being Jazz caused some other people to be confused too, like the teachers at school. At the beginning of the year, they wanted to use the boys' bath. Uh, they wanted me to use the boys' bathroom and play on the boys' teams in gym class, but that didn't feel normal to me at all. I was so happy when the teachers changed their minds. I cannot imagine playing on the same team as Casey and Samantha. Even today, there are kids who tease me or call me by my by a boy's name, or ignore me altogether. This makes me feel crummy. And then I realize that the kids who get to know me usually want to be my friend. They say I am one of the nicest girls at school. I don't mind being different. Different is special. I think what matters most is what a person looks like on the inside. And inside, I am happy. I am having fun. I am proud. I am jazz. Buddies, I hope that story inspires you to be yourself, even if yourself is different. You are loved no matter what. There are grown-ups that love you and want to help you be the best you that you can be. And I want you to know too that God loves you just as you are, no matter what. That there is nothing, nothing in this whole world that would make God love you any less. Because you are created in the very image of God. And that is beautiful. And it's holy and good. And I want you to know 
that I love you and I think that you're pretty awesome. I hope that you have a really great week and I'm really looking forward to seeing you later in Adventure Village. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.